Take it. Oh my god. To beat the shit out of you next. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm pressing Y. I'm having so much trouble. I'm rusty. It's been too long. Come here. That already just suck. Come here. Nope. Had enough. Nope. I used to be able to get through this game without even getting touched. You can't fight it. Die! And Batman, you are too lenient. I know you're the villain, you're the hero that doesn't kill the villains, but damn it! Just put a bullet in his brain already. Make the world better. Imagine you are falling. No. Imagine you're falling in a. God damn it! I'm getting the shit kicked out of me here. Oh, what the? I pressed Y! What is this crap? Press Y three times. Uh. I am. Stop him. Stop him. I don't think they can. What happened to my boost thing? Oh my god, really? That happened. What the hell? When you wake up, you will, you will be mine. Okay, that was a little embarrassing. I got my ass handed to me. Okay. <laughs> um shit. I don't know what was going on. I'm like pressing Y and only one of the little shockwaves would go away. It's like, um, why? 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 <laughs> and uh, get off my clock. <laughs> there we go. I'm back with a vengeance, bitch. Now everything's working. Come here. Come here. Come here. I can't fight it, fight it? No, I can sure as hell try. <laughs> I when they pop the little clock. It's hilarious. <laughs> okay, where'd my bats go on that one? Bruh, did you touch me? No, touch me. Take it. <laughs> Dude, flipped. Double takedown. Smack that guy. Come here. Dude! You must be asleep before Alice gets here. Alice isn't coming, dude. Hey, you guys know the story behind Mad Hatter? He was a dude who worked for a company that made future technology pretty much. Like, you know, Batman's world, everything's got like some bullshit future technology crap going on. Just like how half of his damn gadgets work. Come here, you! I've had enough of your bullshit! Screw that ugly hat! Take it! <laughs> Out cold! Weirdo. Anyway, this dude right here worked at a future tech company, but he's also really good at hypnotism. So he made technology that would automatically hypnotize people when it touched them. Like the weird-ass hats and... Holy shit. I'm <laughs> like this dude. He's just sitting in this chair. I was like, man, I got the shit knocked out of me. <laughs> Who else is funny? <laughs> this dude right here. It looks like Batman just bent him over his chair. <laughs> looks like the chair's trying to rape him. <laughs> this dude's just by himself chilling in the corner. Oh, man. I did something bad here. All right, let's get going. <laughs> Anyway, that dude, uh, Jarvis there, Mad Hatter, made future technology that could hypnotize you by touching you, right? Well... Wait, this is the place for the live news! You! I'm so glad I kicked your ass. I'm so glad. How dare you lure me with hot women and not... Maybe that's why everyone else was taken hostage hypnotized back there, huh? Would I be an easy victim, then? Ah, whatever. Anyway. Where was I? Yeah, look, now it's like a tea set right there. Look at this shit. This dude's nuts. Anyway, he uh, fell in love. He was obsessed with Alice in Wonderland. I can name a few girls that I know, or one girl that I know who's really obsessed with Alice in Wonderland. Like, she actually called herself Alice. Yeah, I got away from that girl as fast as possible. Even worse, she's obsessed. She had issues. Anyway. Whoa, loading, loading. Okay. 
And anyway, he uh, tried to hypnotize this girl into being his Alice. Like, kidnap her and stuff. Also, he's obsessed with hats. Because he believed he was the reincarnation of the Mad Hatter. Or he is the Mad Hatter incarnate. Like, I am this fictional character. I actually became this fiction. This character was designed off of me. Like, the dude could see the, the guy who wrote the book, saw the future, saw me, and said, you are, I'm going to base a character off this guy. He believed he was the Mad Hatter. Nuts, right? I mean, oh my god. Guys, nuttier than a fruitcake. Or squirrel poo. Either way. It was nuts. But yeah, Batman stopped him, and then ever since then, uh, he's been obsessed with Batman's cow. Because he thinks it's like the most unique hat ever, and he wants it for himself. And I guess he just wants Batman, too. Just because, you know, hey, why not have a the most effective superhero in the world at your side? People are coming out a lot of videos lately, like, going, oh, oh, Superman's better. <laughs> Superman's a little questionable, man. Yes, let's trust our lives to a man who can be easily defeated by a green rock, right? Yeah, I'll totally trust my life to him. That's kind of why I don't like DC Comics. Really don't like them. Because all their heroes, most if not all, are overpowered to the point where they can't even die by, like, a gun or something. Like, come on, Wonder Woman can't be shot and killed. Uh, Flash is too fast to be shot and killed. What else? Uh, Superman can't be shot or killed. He's just too overpowered. Like, you never feel like that hero is in danger. And then they have that one weakness on them that's like, oh, look at that. They're in danger now. Feel something for them. I don't like that. Like, at least with Spider-Man, you know, hey, I can walk down the street and I'm going to get hit with a freaking gun. If I get shot, I'm dead. Oh, what else happened? Oh, I had someone bitch me about the Spider-Man movie. Like, they didn't like the new one. I was like, dude, shut up. Oh, the movie's great. I love that movie. That's like the best Spider-Man movie ever. That's the best one yet. And he's like, how do you like that? He got hit by a bullet. I'm like, because he has, he has a spider sense. He should have picked it up. I'm like, oh, did you read the comics? They even say in the comics, it's not omnipresent. It's just there. It just kind of tingles to give him the sense that he's in danger. The way you trick it is to give him a false sense of security. Like, I'm in no danger here. And then you can actually hit him. Which is what happened in the movie. He thought, hey, it's cool. He's letting me go to save his daughter. And then that one cop just was like, fuck this. I'm going to shoot his ass anyway. He's like, wait, don't shoot him. Too late. Hey, look. But yeah, a lot of people harped on that. And Bing, people harped on Bing. I was like, dude, it's a movie, okay? It's called product placement. It's called, they paid, they put money into this movie. I think they deserve a little advertising. Sadly. I don't like being either, but whatever. Oh, cool, I got all the symbols. The four symbols create a master sigil that looks like it fits over the map of Arkham City. Okay, like this. The symbols have marked a point on the map of Arkham City. Why is everything next to this damn church? Alright, let's check this out. I don't remember what happens here. Whoa, dude. Ninja. I knew you would find me. It wasn't hard. You left me a map. Who are you and what do you want? Why are you watching me? We have been given many names, but you will come to know me as Azria, loyal servant to the Order of St. Dumas. Just what I need. Another secret society. I bring a message. Dark days are coming, Batman. The prophecy is coming true. You are the warrior who will close the gates of hell. You are the one who will save this day. And in doing so, events will occur that you cannot stop. Wait, what? From the ashes of Arkham, the fires will rage and Gotham will burn. And you, you will burn too. 
I don't believe, I don't in, believe in fairy tales. <laughs> believe what you will. The message has been delivered. We will meet again. Damn. So 